Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our first lesson on a given Form 2 mathematics topic called linear motion. So today we're looking at our first example, which is a past case C question done in 2013, paper 1, question number 20. So the question reads that two towns A and B are 80 kilometers apart. So the first thing we are going to do is to obtain uh, a simple sketch for the uh, information that we are given. So I'm going to assume uh, this is the line that is representing the distance between the two towns. So we have a uh, town A from this end. Then we also have another town B from this other end. Then we are told that the towns are 80 kilometers apart, which means the distance between these two is actually uh, 80 kilometers. Then Juma started cycling from town A uh, to town B at 10 a.m. So we have uh, Juma uh, moving in this direction. So we have uh, Juma who is cycling from A to B. Then he started his journey at 10 uh, 00 a.m. Then at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. So his speed was 40 uh, kilometers per hour. Then we have Mutuku um, who started his journey uh, from town B towards, uh, that is from town E to B towards the town A at 10.30 a.m. So we have Mutuku uh, moving in this opposite uh, direction. So this is Mutuku. He started uh, his journey at 10.30, uh, 10.30 a.m. Then his speed was uh, 60 kilometers per hour, 60 uh, kilometers per hour. So part A, we are told that calculate Roman 1, the distance uh, from town A when Juma and Mutuku met. So because we don't know this distance, we are going to give it a letter. So we'll say let the distance, let the distance, uh, the distance from town A, we let that distance from town A to the meeting point, to the meeting point, uh, we let it to be uh, X kilometers. So I'm letting the distance, assuming they met here, so I'm letting the distance from town A to the meeting point, this distance here to be X kilometers. So it means the distance from town B uh, to the meeting point will be uh, 80 minus X. So this one will be uh, 80 minus X. So that when you take uh, 80 minus X plus X, you are going to get a total distance of uh, 80 kilometers. So for us to find that distance, we need to form uh, two equations. Therefore, the first equation will be uh, the equation for the time. Uh, we find an equation for the time when uh, Juma, we can start with Juma, the time when Juma uh, arrived at the meeting point, arrived at the meeting point, the meeting uh, point. Remember, arrival time is equals to uh, departure time plus the time taken on the road. So Juma started his journey at 10 uh, 00 a.m. Then we are going to add the time that Juma took on the road. Time is uh, distance then divided by uh, the speed, distance over speed. Therefore, it means that uh, we are going to have uh, the following. Let me create uh, some more working space here. Um, so this one simply means that if I substitute the values in my equation, I'm going to have the following. So this one will be simply be equal to at uh, the starting time is in 24 o'clock system, 10 a.m. will just be uh, 10 hours. Then we are going to add uh, the time taken by Juma from town A to the meeting point is the distance covered divided by speed. So the Juma, I uh, will cover a distance of X kilometers uh, from town A to the meeting point. So time is distance over speed. His distance will be X. Then the speed of Juma was actually uh, 40 kilometers per hour. Then we are also going to find an equation for the time. Uh, the time when the other person was uh, Mutuku. So we also find an equation for the time uh, when the time when uh, Mutuku arrived at the meeting point. Arrived uh, at the meeting point. The meeting uh, point will actually be given by, again, arrival time is a departure time plus the time taken on the road. Mutuku started his journey at 10.30 a.m. So this one can be written as uh, 10.30 is the same as 10 and a half hours. Uh, that is in a 24 o'clock system. Then the time that Mutuku will take on the road, time is distance over speed. 
So Mutuku from point B up to the meeting point, Mutuku is going to cover uh, 80 minus x. So his distance is uh, 80 minus x, then divided by his uh, speed. The speed for Mutuku was uh, 60 kilometers per hour. Then at the meeting point, at the meeting point, at the meeting point, uh, the clock for Juma and the clock for uh, Mutuku are supposed to be uh, reading equal time. Therefore, that means at the meeting point, uh, 10 uh, plus x over 40 must be equal to, it must be equal to 10 and a half, then plus uh, 80 uh, plus 80 minus x, then divided by uh, 60. So I can convert this one into improper fraction. So of course 2 by 10 you are going to get uh, 20 then plus 1. So this one is the same as saying 21 uh, divided by 2. So this is 21 over 2. So we have 10 then plus x over 40 uh, being equal to. So this is 21 over 2. 21 over 2 then plus uh, 80 uh, minus x then divided by 60. So I'm going to find the LCM, the LCM of uh, 42 and 60. I believe uh, it will be 120. Therefore, I'm going to multiply through by the LCM. So the LCM is 120. So I'll multiply this by 120. I also multiply this by 120. Uh, this one by 120. Also this one by 120. Therefore, I'm going to get the following. So this will be 1200. So 1200. Uh, then plus uh, 0 and 0 will cancel out uh, 4 here 1 4 into 12 3 times uh. So this will be uh, 3x uh, is equals to uh, Of course 2 here 1 2 into 120 that is uh, 60 So if I take 21 uh, 21 multiplied by 60 I'm going to get uh, 1260 So this will give me uh, 1260 uh, then I'm going to add uh, 60 here, 1, 16 to 120, uh, that is 2 times. So this one it means I'm going to have 2 uh, into bracket uh, 80, then minus x. So this will be 1200, then plus 3x uh, is equal to uh, 1260. Then I'm going to add 2 by 80, I'll get uh, 160, then minus uh, 2x. On collecting the like terms, of course, I'm going to take this one to uh, the left-hand side so that it will be 3x plus 2x, which is going to give me uh, 5x being equal to. On the other side, I'm going to have 1260, then plus uh, 160. Then I'll also take this to the other side. It will be minus 1200. Uh, so it means uh, 5x, 5x will be equal to. So if I take uh, 1260, then I add 160, then I subtract 1200, I'm going to get 2220. So this is uh, equal to 2220, uh, that is uh, 220. So dividing through by 5, uh, the value of x will be equal to uh, 22, uh, that is 220 divided by 5, which is going to give me uh, 220 uh, divided by 5, I'm going to get 44 uh, kilometers. So 44 kilometers. So the distance between uh, town A to the meeting point is 44 kilometers. So it means actually uh, this distance is 44 kilometers. Therefore, it means the remaining distance here will be uh, 80 minus x, which will be uh, 80 minus our value of x is 44 which is going to give us 36 uh, so this one is uh, 36 uh, kilometers so that is for part a so uh, the distance from town a when juma and mutuku met so that distance is actually 44 uh, kilometers then i want us to move to part b of the question so i can erase uh, this part here so that i can create uh, some working space um, so we are told the distance, uh, that is the time of the day when the two met. So to find the time of the day when the two met, you can either use the equation for Mutuku or you can as well use the equation for Juma. So um, the time of meeting, so this is uh, 
Roman 2. Uh, this is uh, Roman 2 of the question. That is uh, part A, Roman 2. So the time of the day when the two met, I'm going to use the equation for uh, Juma, which was, uh, so the meeting time, uh, meeting time uh, was equal to, for the case of Juma, it was 10 a.m., uh, 10 0, 0 a.m., then we are adding x over uh, 40. So this one will be equal to uh, 10 a.m., 10 0, 0 a.m., then you add uh, x is 44, so this will be 44 divided by 40. So if you add on your calculator, if you press 10 plus um, 44 over 40, you are going to get 11, 1 over 10. Then, of course, if you convert the 1 over 10 into minutes, you are going to get uh, 6 minutes. So it means uh, the meeting time will actually be uh, 11.06 11, 06, uh, a.m. So this is the time that these two uh, people met. Then we move to uh, part B of the question. We are told that Kamau uh, started cycling uh, from town A to B at 10.21. At 10.21. So let me create some working space here. Uh, so that we can tackle part B of uh, this particular question. So we are told that we are having another person uh, called Kamau. Uh, we have Kamau. Let me create some working space here. Good. So we are told that Kamau started cycling from town A to town B. So remember, I can redraw uh, what I had here. So this was uh, our town uh, A. This was town A, then we have town B. So we are told that Kamau started cycling from town A. So we have Kamau moving in this direction. This is Kamau um, from town A to B at 10.21. So starting time is 10.21 uh, a.m. Then he met Mutuku at the same time uh, as Juma did. So it means they met uh, somewhere here at the same time. Huh? Then of, of course we have the meeting time. Huh? So it means, it means that they met at 11.06 uh, a.m. So that is the time that they met. So he met Mtuku at the same time as uh, Juma did. Then determine Kamau's average speed. So we are going to let, uh, let, Kamau's, uh, let Kamau's average speed, average uh, speed to be x, average speed to be, uh, to be x. But before we even do that, uh, we know that uh, speed is given by uh, distance over time taken. Uh, uh, distance covered divided by uh, the time taken. Therefore, let's check whether we have uh, the distance and the time to be taken. So remember, Kamau is um, moving from uh, town A, then he's coming to meet with, uh, uh, that is Mutuku. So he met Mutuku at the same time as Juma did. Therefore, uh, determine Kamau's average speed. So the speed will be the distance that Kamau will have covered from town A to the meeting point. Uh, of course, they met at the same time, uh, which means they met after uh, covering uh, the same distance, that is from point A up to point B. Then we had already computed the value of uh, x. The distance from point A to the meeting point was actually 44 uh, kilometers. Then the time taken by Kamau will be 11.06, then we subtract 10.21. So uh, the distance, the distance covered, distance covered will just be 44 kilometers because uh, Kamau is moving from point A to the meeting point because they met at the same time. So we need to find the time taken, uh, the time taken uh, to meet, time taken will be equal to uh, Arrival time then minus departure time. So this will be in 24 o'clock system. This will be uh, 11 hours 06 minutes. Then we are going to subtract uh, 1021 10 hours 21 uh, minutes. So if I subtract these two, I'm going to have the following. So if uh, I subtract these two, remember this is part B of the question. So if I take uh, 1106, then I'm going to subtract 1021. I need to subtract these two. 
So of course I'm going to borrow one hour from this side so that I remain with the uh, 10 hours. So the one hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. So this will be 60 plus 6 minutes, I'll get uh, 66. Uh. So 66 minus 21, this one will be 5, then this one will actually be 4. Then of course this will be 0. So it means they took, um, that is, Kamau took 45 minutes uh, uh, to meet, uh, uh, to arrive at the meeting time. So in hours, the time will be, the time will be 45 minutes. Uh, if you convert into hours, it would be over 60. So 45 over 60 hours. Remember, I'm converting into hours so that I can get the speed in uh, kilometers per hour. So now that we have the time taken, we also have the distance that is covered. We can actually find the speed. So the speed uh, for Kamau will be distance over time. The distance to be covered was uh, 44 kilometers. So this will, will be 44 divided by the time taken is 45, then divided by uh, 60, 45 over 60. So this will be equal to, uh, this will be equal to, uh, this will give us, uh, so the speed, uh, the speed for Kamau, the speed for Kamau uh, will be equal to, uh, 44 remember when you divide uh, you multiply by the reciprocal so the reciprocal of uh, 45 over 60 is actually 60 over 45 so if i compute this on my calculator i'm going to have 44 uh, multiplied by 60 over 45 so i'm going to get uh, 58 so i'm getting a uh, 58 whole number then uh, uh, 2 over 3 58 2 over 3 so remember this is speed, uh, therefore it is uh, kilometers per hour. So 58, 2 over 3 kilometers per hour. If you choose to record it in terms of decimals, then you must give us at least four significant figures unless otherwise are specified. To four significant figures, it will be 58.67. 58 58.67 uh, kilometers per hour. So in our next class, we'll be looking at uh, further examples on the same topic. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is kind to